So decision made. I'm gonna shoot a blower shot over a building that I've been meaning to shoot for a long, long time. I'm just gonna take a quick shot, nowhere near dark enough yet. A late afternoon, early evening bike ride, I'm just going down this rural lane and I'm just gonna pick off a few photographs. I don't know, I've got nothing in mind. I've been down this road a few times, but generally driving on the old leg iron, it's a different experience. First thing I've seen as I'm riding along is this little farm track, a wire fence and a power pole. Doesn't look much of anything here. I'm hoping I can make a nice photograph out of it. So it wasn't an amazing shot, but it was a shot, the first one of the night, or first one of the evening, and I quite like it. A rusty old barbed wire fence to frame the shot. We're coming up to the old chimney breast that I photographed a few weeks ago. I'm not gonna photograph it again, but I tell you what, it does make a nice photograph that. It really does. So tempted to pull up, but no, that will be for another day. When we get a nice Milky Way over there, we'll shoot that again. Now we're gonna run out of seal track shortly. And what I'm doing is basically just following my nose, looking for light. Wherever the light is, that's where photographs are liable to be. And that's what I'm aiming to be. Let's have a look at this. See if we can use this fence to our advantage. Golden grass, some brush on the top of the hill. See what we can do. Camera is the Leica Q2, 28 millimeter f1.7 lens. Set at ISO 100, f11. It's giving me an 80th, which is plenty handheld. Again, use a fence post. I'm trying to keep my shadow out of the shot as well. Although I quite like it. Again, I'm using the bad wire fence. Set this at 1.7, focusing on the fence post. I quite like it. I'm not sure if I prefer the shot f11 or the shot at 1.7. I'm leaning at the moment towards 1.7, just because it uh, really isolates the main subject. Right, let's push on a bit further. Maybe get a shot of those beehives having to shoot through this wire fence, back to f11. I like that, I mean, it's, it's a rural photograph. Bit of a rural farm track. Snaking off into the distance. Sadly. And here we've got a wind damaged fence. Tell you, I'm getting desperate. Now this isn't much of anything at all, but I think it's gonna make a nice shot. Pointy hill near the bush there, there's a fence line that winds round, and then just in the foreground here, we've got another gnarly rusty old fence line, and we're gonna incorporate the two. Just do a little bit of gentle pruning, f11 and then f1.7 just to make that post really pop. Definitely, definitely 1.7. That is a nicer frame. Let's push on a bit further. And literally, just like that, the sun has just about gone down and it's quite bland now. That could be the photography for this evening, unless, unless we do another blow hour shot. <laughs> Why not? Decision made. I'm going to shoot a blower shot over a building that I've been meaning to shoot for a long, long time. It's the old village store, 7-Eleven. It's been closed God knows how many years. Somebody's going to buy that one day. Once I bought it, renovated it, it's gone forever. So you can just see the last remnants of the shop signage. All right, let's have a wander down. This is the main highway. Thankfully, she's a bit quiet. So that's pretty cool. I'm thinking the other side of the road here, looking back to the corner of the store, that is more or less, hopefully, what I'm gonna get. Just slipping this into manual mode, because it's getting quite dark now and the camera's starting to hunt a little bit. See you then. Focus peaking, slipping into manual. It zooms in on the image. And then as you turn the focus ring, red highlights in there telling you what's in focus. And that is perfect. So I'll keep that as it is. I'm just gonna take a quick shot. Nowhere near dark enough yet. Sit tight, wait for light levels to drop. So I'll probably get a 20 or 30 second exposure, get some light painting going on. And I think that'll just make it pop. Oh, yeah. I've been wondering how to photograph this for a long time. Do I get it in first light, last light, dawn light, dusk light, I think blow hour. So we've got the camera on a 12 second self timer to give myself time to get across the road. And then all we're gonna do is take this LCD light and just paint as we're going along. And the trick is to keep moving. If you stand still, you're gonna be visible in the photograph. And we don't want that. You wanna be out of the photograph. So just keep moving. Basically, is all there is to it. 